Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to The Money Cure. I'm your host, Reverend Sean Robert Grant. Thank you for being here. Thank you for blessing us with your presence. We greatly appreciate you on the highest possible level. First things first, guys, if you have any questions, any feedback, any comments, please write to us at S-H-A-U-N-G-04 at gmail.com. And I'll get back to you as soon as we possibly can. Shout out to everybody out there listening. Man, we are continually spreading and, and getting into more and more countries. More and more people are listening in, and that is quite remarkable. Uh, I'm very thankful, very grateful, very humbled by it as well that you guys would take the time to not only just listen to the podcast, but download it and have it um, later on. So, you know, I'm going to keep on following my divine truth and bringing you as much wisdom as I possibly can to help you to change your life as it relates to money, wealth, prosperity, abundance, all those amazing things. So let's get into today's message, guys. So getting rid of lack for good. Now, I wrote that. And then I thought to myself, okay, that's kind of a snafu because we don't need to get rid of lack because ultimately lack does not exist. But, but if we decide to be consciously aware of lack, then lack is what is going to going to exist. Okay. So I'm going to, I'm going to go fundamental here for a second. And I tagged law of attraction on purpose because this is completely and utterly law of attraction or law of law of vibration, if you will, more so than anything else. We live in a universe where we are dictating what happens in our lives. And when I say what happens in our lives, what happens in the outer reality that is basically the reflected reality of what's going on inside ourselves. So each and every one of us, we start with a clean slate, canvas, palette, whatever it may be, and it is filled with infinite abundance. There is no stretch, no scratch of lack on this canvas. Now, everyone has a choice, and the choice begins with the thoughts, the feelings, the beliefs, the intentions that are held near and dear in the heart. And these are what begin to create whether or not you have abundance or whether or not you're living in lack. Okay. So as we know, or we all know, and if we don't, I'm going to remind you, we are influenced as children. I think honestly could be sciences From the time we're conceived to about seven years old, our mind is being conditioned. But I think it's further than that. I think you can be conditioned as long as you are surrounded by someone you love and respect and you feel like they can do no wrong. And if you were anything like me, it took me a while to realize that adults were super flawed. And the reason I say that, not to take anything away from anybody, but it's important to know that some people are just not qualified to give you exactly what your soul needs in order for you to reach your highest path and potential of existence, like why you came here, right? So in knowing that, I just look back at my own life and realize there wasn't anybody qualified to give me what I need to be who I am today, thankfully. The divine still allowed me to get here, but there was nobody that was qualified. So you can imagine the junk that was filled or, or, or the junk that my mind was conditioned with in the beginning of my life, in the middle of my life, in the, the late teen years of my life, in the, the, the early twenties and in, in whatever it's been so much crap. And when I say crap, Crap because it went against what the divine, what the universe, what God has for us and has planned for us. It went completely against it. So, like I said, if you're like me, you've been programmed with a lack hard drive, not hard drive, a lack software 
<laughs> I had to get my computer references right. A lack software, you've been programmed with that. And in being programmed with that, you have chosen directly or indirectly to make lack a reality in your life. Now, the beauty is, is when we're dedicated and we're educated, (laughs) we can transform and transmute those ideas that we once held from whoever it was that gave it to us. One of the most powerful moments and shifts in transformation of my life is when I realize I'm living somebody else's belief and not really my own. And it just drops away. It just completely goes away. And I'm like, now I can create the belief that I want. So we're talking about letting go of lack for good and moving into abundance. So tell me, where does that begin? And I'm going to tell you where it doesn't begin for the sake of hell. We're on a money. We're on a money podcast, a money based podcast with money consciousness and all that good stuff. It does not start with money. And that was a, that was a lesson that I had to learn a lesson I had to learn really hard. And matter of fact, I'm going to be completely transparent with you and share with you what it looks like. So when you, have your abundance rooted in something outside of you, it's unsustainable. And I can't understand why. I don't know why it's like this, but spiritually, scientifically, it's like this. If there is something in your life that is a source of your abundance and it is not the consciousness and essence of God, the spirit of God, that thing is going to betray you. That's just how the universe is set up. If you find out why, please tell me because I'd love to know, but I've seen it too many times in my own life to know that this is completely true. And like I said, in the state of, in the spirit of transparency, I'm going to share with you what I mean. Okay. Now I've had no trouble at all manifesting money over the course of my entire life. But what has happened throughout that manifestation is I find myself getting a whole lot of money and then losing it all. (laughs) Right. Or, I mean, that's where I was. Right. And it just continually happened like that for years at a time. And it's funny because I just heard Tyler Perry kind of talk about how he went through the same stuff and it really, it really helped me because I'm like, am I the only one going through this? Because, you know, you you don't really just tell people your financial business. Well, a lot of times if you come from the place I come from, the people won't stop knocking down your door and bing, buzzing your phone trying to borrow money from you. So you don't really share that information with anybody. But what I've seen over the course of my life is that it's never been an issue manifesting money making a lot, uh, you know, an abundance, abundance of money. The problem has come is that I allowed that money to be my source. So what happens naturally, naturally what happens? The money has to go away. (laughs) It has to go away in order for you to realize who's the source You are the source. The God in you is the source. The God consciousness in you is the source. The Holy Spirit, if you will, the universe is the source. The money is the expression of the source, right? And the job, the investment, the, the, the gift is the channel, right? But it's not the source of abundance. So until we fix that and until I fix that in my own life, I had to repeat over and over and over having a whole lot of money and then just down almost zero all because I had to learn that money was not my source. Money was just the expression of my source. Now I say all that because that taught me a valuable lesson about lack. Okay. 
It taught me the lesson that lack does not start in the bank account. Lack does not start in the pockets. We've got a society that believes that the wealthiest, richest, most abundant people are the ones with the most money could not be further from the truth. And I say that from experience could not be further from the truth. Right. I can remember sitting on six figures one time and just being an absolute wreck because I had not dealt with the emotions of lack within myself. And so it didn't matter how much I had. My emotions were all jacked up and my, my inner life was all jacked up. My beliefs were all jacked up and it was torture. And if, if you saw it from the outside, you'd be like, how do you have any problems? Look how much money you have. How do you have any issues with this? And the reality is I did because lack does not start with money. I'm going to say that. I want to say that three times. Lack does not start with money. Lack does not start with money. Lack does not start with money. Lack starts inside of you. It starts the moment someone makes or encourages you or leads you to believe that you are less than enough. That's when it starts. Because the moment you believe and adopt that you're less than enough, it's going to reflect in every single effing area of your life. It's going to reflect in every area of your life, everything you do, because you feel less than enough. You're going to find yourself in a position questioning whether or not it's going to work out, questioning whether or not you're going to get the best of it, questioning whether or not if you can be your best. That's where lack begins. And there's too much of it. It's, it's actually it's a it's a damn epidemic that needs to be resolved. It needs to be healed. So it doesn't start in the bank account. Like it's, if, if you got children, if you got nieces and nephews, if you got friends, please don't lead them to a job thinking that's that that's going to heal any type of lack psychology that they've been embedded with and imbued with as children. It doesn't. It teaches them how to be slaves because then at that point, money's your master. And if money's your master, Reverend Ike used to say, so it's just, it's just completely on point. It says money is a wonderful servant, but a terrible master. And it, and it just can ruin your life when you don't have the consciousness to deal with it and understand what it truly is at the deepest part of its own nature. It can be troubling. You see what I'm saying? This is why I tell you lack does not start with money. It does not start with the job. It does not start with the investment. It does not start with the bank account. It does not start with the business. It doesn't start with any of that. It starts in you. And the first thing you got to ask yourself, do I feel enough for life? And if you feel enough, you ask yourself the second question. Do I feel more than enough for life? Do I feel infinite for life? And guess what? If you can answer yes, lack doesn't exist for you. Because within you already, you know that there is an inexhaustible supply of divine substance, divine resources, infinite energy, which then can express itself as money, as job, as car, as house, as relationships, as friendships, as social, whatever, right? It's all about the energy. You see, when we started, I told you the universe is so magical. That it gives everybody this palette, this canvas, this, this, this paintbrush to go to work and create whatever it is that you want. The universe gives that to you and says, go for it. Go for it, sunshine. But the problem is fear has created people into thinking that if they go too far, they're going to lose something. Right? Or if they do too much, oh, but this part will fall out or that could go wrong. 
one of the most troubling lack beliefs I had been embedded with. And it, it just, it just like, it burns me up to this day, but I'm so happy that I was able to honor it and release it. But one of the most troubling, troubling beliefs of lack is thinking that something is going to go wrong when things are going well. It don't get much more lackful than that guys. And that troubled me so much. I would literally be on cloud nine and then just be absolutely tortured because somewhere along the line, somebody said, well, you got to wait for the other shoe to drop. Luck don't last forever, right? The good can't, the good can't be here all the time. All of these things. And, and these are well-meaning, well-meaning to do individuals yet. They're programming me and other people. Cause I'm not the only one with this idea that lack should be the primary expectation for life, but it doesn't have to be. And it can stop today if you're willing to allow it to stop today. You can say no longer. In my job, I have every single thing that I need within myself. And then some, I have an inexhaustible amount of resources within me to excel on the highest level and be abundant in every single aspect of this business. And I just said at my job, but it could be in your own business. It can be in your own contract. It can be in your own relationship, in your own health practices, whatever it is, you're going to get what you expect. The universe gives you the power that way. God gives us all the power. What are you expecting? Right? What are you expecting? And so once we know inside that we are enough and that we're more than enough, the money's so beautiful. Money's so beautiful how it works. I love how it works. Once we figure that out, then money will reflect that energy. Money will reflect that energy to a T. So the moment I began to realize that I was an effing superstar, that I was just not just enough, not just more than enough, but infinitely enough is when money started to just show up in all these different capacities. And I'm getting this opportunity to express myself in creative ways that I never dreamed of. And, and I'm, I'm taking on challenges. And once where I used to feel like, Oh, I don't know if I can do that. I'm saying, you know what? Let me just give it a go because I always succeed at whatever I do. It all shifted. It all shifted from being can't grant name. I was given to by a coach one time to I can do anything. I can do all things. And I'm going to live my life to that expectation in my heart of hearts. I know it's going to work out perfectly. It can't be any other way. I'm not expecting failure. I'm expecting succeed. I'm expecting abundance on every level possible. And everything shifts. But it had nothing to do with anything outside of me. It had everything to do with how I think and what's naturally in my heart. And like I said, when you come to the day where you realize you're living somebody else's beliefs and not your own, talk about liberation. Guys and gals, that is one of the most powerful days ever. It's when you are liberated from understanding. <laughs> Man, this is this is Uncle Uncle TT's beliefs. This ain't my belief, right? This is grandmama's beliefs. This ain't mine. I'm ready to rise above this. And rise above it, you will. So it comes a lack. Lack is an illusion. Because there is no lack within the universe. There can be no lack. If there was any lack at any point in time in the universe, the universe would cease to exist because that cannot happen. Because abundance is all there is. Abundance is all the universe ever is and ever will be. And it's because of that abundance that the universe can say, okay, you choose what is it that you want. And it's so infinitely abundant that it can create your choice to live in lack. 
right? It gives you endless, infinite amount of choices. And for a lot of folks, the choice is lack. And the universe says, there you go. That's what you thought of. It's not personal. It's just vibration. It's just what you're emitting to me. And I'm going to create it. And that's what it does. But the moment you change it, we say, you know what? Ah, more than enough. It's just sound like, hey, na na, hey, na na, more than enough, right? <laughs> more than enough. Abundance, abundance, abundance. Universe says, ah, gotcha. Abundance it is. And everything starts to show up abundant. And you realize you're just overflowing with this energy. And it shifts internally first. And then all of a sudden, the outside begins to shift. Because in your heart of hearts, you know, you know who you are. You know that you are divine. You know that you are infinite. You know that you're unlimited and you're powerful and everything you come, come. I don't want to say come up against, but everything you come into contact with life, you realize it's just a reflection of your abundance. And that happens inside of you. That happens inside of you. So let's get ready to wrap this up. How do we let go of lack? Easy. We let go of lack by realizing it doesn't exist. Abundance is the only thing that exists. And even if you have to write that down a gazillion times before you get it, abundance is all there is. And then diligently dedicate yourself, because I don't want to say force, but diligently dedicate yourself to seeing the abundance in everything, right? To seeing the abundance in everything. I used to do this thing on my videos that I was doing for my ministry. And it was called, Where my, Where's My Abundance? And as I started every video, I would give 30 seconds for people to say, to really think about where is my abundance? And we would come back to the segment and I'd ask people to comment and review what their abundance is. And you know how powerful that is because all of a sudden you're looking for abundance and whatever you look for, your mind's going to find it. It's programmed to, it will never not find whatever you're looking for. That's a, that's a dangerous and most powerful and wonderful thing. All at the same time, your mind will always find exactly what you're looking for. That's how powerful it is. So why not choose abundance? Why not choose to look for abundance? Plain and simple. Right. So you got to realize abundance is all there is. Lack is just the illusion. And the second and most important thing is realized, okay, if the essence, the energy, the infinitude of being who created me is immeasurably unlimited and infinite, what does that make me? If I'm made in the image and likeness of God, what does that make me? That makes me the exact same. Why would I believe anything else? If I am a son of the father, if I am a daughter of the father, if I am a reproduction of this infinite being, a child of the most high, why would I think anything other than the abundance that the divine already is. I'd have to be crazy too. And guess what? We've all been led to believe that we're pretty insane because we believe that we believe that we're less than, but that's the most important reason to know. I come from an infinite, unlimited dynamic universal being. What does that make me? What does that make me? It's powerful when you sit here and you think about it, right? It's powerful. And then lastly, how do you get rid of, rid of lack? Just set your attention, your intention. So, sorry, set your attention and your intention for abundance, right? And that can be as simple as asking yourself all day long, why am I so abundant? Why do I live in endless, infinite abundance, Right? Just ask those questions and see what the mind brings you because the mind never fails. It always brings exactly what it is that you want. That's how, like I said, that's how powerful it is, right? 
It'll always bring exactly what you want, but just ask yourself those questions. Why am I so infinitely abundant? Why do I live such an abundant life? And watch as it begins to unfold. And remember, you may have started with lack, but you have every bit of power, insight, ability to just let it go right now and jump on that train to abundance. It's just a matter of attuning to it. It's within you. You got this. Don't look back. Ladies and gentlemen, that's all I got for today. It's been a special episode. Thank you so much, guys, for joining me. Um, please, once again, if you feel you have any comments, any uh, feedback, any questions, you have any topics you want me to talk about here on this podcast, I'd be happy to do so. Write to me at shaung04 at gmail.com. And I would get back to you. I will get back to you as soon as I can. Uh, But with that being said, really hone in on this topic, please. By all means, if you know somebody who can who needs this podcast, who can listen to it and benefit from it, share it with them. No matter where they are, we span across the globe proudly. Um, So, yes, please, by all means, do that. And um, yeah, enjoy having you here. Enjoy having your company. And uh, we look forward to seeing you soon. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. Have a wonderful evening. Um, I'll catch up to you later. Take care. Bye-bye.